Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode, which is still weird to say, even with everything that happened with this show, um, of season two of The Misfit of Demon King Academy. It, it, once again, it's been a long ass time coming for this. The fact is, like, two whole weeks of waiting for this finale and such, between this show and another show that, due to some situations with their, I think, what, majority of their last two episodes, I just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to talk about that show anymore. It was good. And then they fucked it over. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. thing I do want to say about this okay the last time when we watched this like two three weeks ago um I think we were talking about potentially a third season with this has season three kind of already been confirmed for this show I believe I mean I'm so, regardless I'm still watching the show because it, it, it's a it's a it's still it's a good show regardless even though we there's certain things that I'm like did you really do that show but I get it you do it because you have to but I think what I'm probably gonna do I might end up rewatching this season if I have time God, I'm gonna miss him like this. <laughs> yeah, he just flew out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, where'd you
Ooh. Okay, but that felt too easy, though. Not the gun, though. <laughs> Right? See, do you really want to take the risk on that? No, never mind. They're going to do it. Fuck it. That's not even going to kill him, though. We know.
tổ. Not the dolls. Oh my god. <laughs> Unfortunately not. My man is so fucking OP. He took the color. The color out. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. He still look good. They're all fake. I mean, because something kind of secretly told me that, because, yeah, the fact that even Anos was like, he couldn't even remember her, and the next thing you know, she slowly started giving him and showing him these memories. Well, yeah.
you're still going to believe that she's your younger sister after everything she just told you? It's just the goodness in him a lot. I love him so much. <laughs> It's pretty. Damn. I mean, you thought that he would have put up at least some sort of effort in the fight, not give up, but it, it was a one shot, one kill. Mm. Good. Oh. My thing is, like, is, will she stay here or will she go with you? The laugh. The fucking chuckle. I need this man. God, just...
you make this like new chapter, new start. No, this is just normally how they are. <laughs> Overall, this season was pretty enjoyable. I still, regardless, I still loved it. Yes, I still had my issues. Um... Once again, number one, the CGI dragons. W was that really necessary? That was my only big nitpick about this season. I think both stories and arcs were really interesting. I think if I had to choose between the two, probably the first arc I enjoyed a lot more because of the fact is we were trying to figure out who the child of God was. And, and it being Nisa, which, number one, it kind of was a little obvious because of the fact is we knew nothing barely about Nisa. So, how... It being her, I'm just like, okay, yeah, that makes the most sense because, once again, we knew nothing. I, I love the fact, you know, just the ish between <laughs> Lei and Shin on literally him just being like, I want to marry your daughter. I want to be with your daughter. And he is over here like, mm-mm, mm-mm, no. Wrap it up, wrap it up. No, 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 this shit. Like, hey, you want to talk about, like, a devoting dad who wants, or a devoting parent who wants to be a third wheel? That is shit, in a nutshell. Dead ass. But I really, I really like the aspect of what this second season was about. I loved everything initially for it. I, like I said, I, I probably will end up rewatching this whole season again because my, my one other little distake was, um, with it being two different arcs in uh, one whole season. I don't like the fact that we had it aired at two different times. I get the initiative because Bleach is currently doing that and I think we're we're starting the next arc aka the arc that is about to really make me cry as a manga reader. Um I think in fall because that's when she, I mean, you know what? No, I'll say it like this. Ever since the Thousand Year Blood War, shit has gotten real, but this is really, this next arc that's coming up for the Thousand Year Bl Blood War and what is about to happen for certain characters, I will not spoil that for you because if you know, like, other people who've read that arc, if you know, you know, everyone else who doesn't know, I am so sorry for you. I I'm just gonna be like, you're not ready. Um... It's one of those things where it's like, oh my fucking God, and, and such. But I hate the fact that with this show, we had to separate everything. Because like, if we're looking at season one, season one was very consistent on getting their 12 episodes and then going on and then getting potentially 24 episodes for season two. Because what I was expecting for season two was airtime. We were going to get so all of it back to back to back. The beginning, middle, and end. Instead of, here's the first 12. We're going to take a break until this season. Then we have the next 12. But, you know, none of us knew the ish that was happening. The um, the delaying and such. The postponing and everything else. Because that's natural. That typically happens with anything and such. And I get that. I, I think, there, like, I'm not mad about that. But I think if it does 
potentially get a season three which from what somebody told me a while back ago it is already really confirmed that this is going to get a season three if it makes another like two core series or like let's say they want to do 48 episodes then I would literally just be like okay do the first 12 then take a break and then come back do the next 12 or I mean not the next 12 like do 24 and 24 bam um ish because I feel like the hype of this show in my opinion getting between the 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 first half and the second half of the season I feel like the hype kind of died down or was it just me because I still enjoyed this show regardless it's one of the most like underrated shows even when it started airing because everybody was like this was the one show that everybody was looking at like I don't know and then we all just watched it for fun and we're like holy shit this is really good um but no enjoyed this a lot just wondering what the fuck is season three gonna be about potentially if we get it but who really knows but dead ass like this was an interesting season just don't do the if you if you do the cgi i would just say this because probably uh blu-ray wise it they cleaned it up i will say that probably um for season three if it continues clean it up that's my only one little nitpick but regardless both seasons both arcs were very interesting like I said, I definitely will watch them again because I have a lot of questions. And I think if I rewatch it, I'll probably understand a lot more. Um, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entirety of the second season of The Misfit of Doing King Academy. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all, um, well, whenever the hell season three will come out. So, like, let's say a year or two years from now, possibly. Um, and then of course, you know, summer anime with <laughs> all the other issues that I have to do. But until then, I will see you guys the next time. Bye!